Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch made from 2007 to 2013 and discontinued for 2014. Same reference as the standard third-generation Milgauss. This is the 116400, but this white dial model is discontinued and probably the only current current generation Milgauss model that has an emerging and defined collector's market. So the timepiece, of course, launched with the third generation model in 2007. At the time, everyone wanted the glass vert or the green crystal, or at least the black dial. The white dial version was sparsely ordered, and as a result, it's become something of a speculative investment. I don't like to use the I word with watches. All I will confirm here is that this has a collector's market, and it's rarer than the other models. So taking a quick look at its dimensions, I identical to the other ones, 40 millimeters in diameter, 13.3 millimeters thick, I mean, it's fairly thin as these things go, 49 millimeters from lug to lug, and if you add the solid end links, this has one of the shortest end link spans of any Rolex watch, it's almost the it's, at, it's almost the lug-to-lug -lug span, but what we actually get is an extra half millimeters, so it's 49.5 across the wrist. Between the lugs, 20 millimeters is the horn width. Throw it on my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, and it's easy to wear. You can see the case is nicely arced. The lugs wrap around your wrist, and they're nowhere near the edge of my wrist. So if your wrist is as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference, you're going to wear this one well. It's going to be very comfortable. You're going to like the way it looks, fits, and even ducks underneath the cuff. No problem with a tight sleeve. The watch and the bracelet are made of 904L steel. Rolex has its own foundry. It smelts its own metals. Case, bracelet, and clasp, all made by Rolex. That 904L steel isn't necessarily harder than 316, but it is more resistant to corrosion. For example, Rolex says that when you bathe in the ocean with this watch, you do not need to rinse off the salt. With standard 316, you would. With this, you do not. Polished center, satin flanks, polished outer faces, screw-fixed removable links on both sides. The clasp is polished internally, and it has a beak and a hook system. So you can see there's a beak, and then there's a hook. And these two things latch together. You'll see the lift lock latch. And then it's not actually friction fit. You do have to open it by pulling and unlocking. So there's a degree of security there that belies the simplicity of the mechanism. You can see there is a five millimeter easy link system in out. It's the equivalent of adding or removing one sizable link. And then if you look inside the clasp, you can see there are actually three divots drilled inside the clasp. So with your strap tool, you can change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp. So removable links, easy link, and then the divots, three ways to size your bracelet. Rolling over to the case, it's simple, fluid, and handsome. It's not squared off in sheer super case. This is all of polish with tapered lugs, a lovely compound curved and rounded case. It actually has a lot in common with the date just and the day date, and that makes it graceful. The crown is a twin lock screw down. The watch is 100 meters water resistant, conical bezel profile, white dial, and I do mean white, not silver. This is a true white dial, and perhaps even more intriguing, it is a matte white, much like chalk. You have orange accents, the name, the lightning bolt seconds hands, the Luminova on the hour indices, the printing for the minute and seconds hashes, as well as numerals outboard. You might think that a lightning bolt seconds hand is getting a little bit cute and perhaps a bit too contemporary, but it's not a piece of pop art, as that dates back to the original 1956 reference 6541, the first Milkhouse. So it turns out that the stodgy 50s actually had a bit of a sense of humor. The twinkle in the eye of this watch, of course, is the presence of the orange on a white dial, as it truly pops with the black oxidized white gold indices bearing the Luminova exploding off the dial base. This is probably the easiest contemporary Rolex watch to read at a glance. Underneath the dial, it is true, there is a solid iron inner cage. It's paramagnetic, which contrary to assumptions actually means it attracts magnetism. And what it does is it takes hold of magnetic field lines and then it channels them around the escapement and the hairspring. That's the first layer of defense. You also have a nickel phosphorus anti-magnetic escapement and a niobium zirconium hairspring Rolex calls Parachrom Blue. And all these features work together to make this watch considerably more than mil gauss or 1,000 gauss, 80,000 ampere per meter equivalent. Uh, the watch is probably far more anti-magnetic than it's rated. The name is cute and classic, but I think this watch is a bit tougher than Rolex rates it based on what it's made of internally. Caliber 3131 internally, automatic winding, bi-directional, 48-hour power reserve. It has hacking seconds. It pivots on 31 joules, and it 
ticks away at 8 beats per second while braced by a full balance bridge and a free sprung index, two features that make the watch very shock tolerant. It has that exotic overcoil alloy, but it also has a Breguet overcoil, which means it keeps excellent time in any orientation with respect to gravity. And of course, the watch is a five position adjusted COSC Swiss chronometer and thus very, very precise. And once again, it is all Rolex inside and out. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Back with the Milgauss, one of the quirkiest features of this watch is that the orange Luminova on the indices glows blue, while the Luminova on the hands glows green.